The US's debt was downgraded here on August 1st, and this ETF has skyrocketed past the S&P 500. The S&P 500 from about the end of July has dropped 4%, and this ETF has gained around 33% in value. So at this point, what should you do to be able to take part in some of these gains of this interest hedging ETF? Coming over to a Seeking Alpha article, if you guys want access to unlimited supply of Seeking Alpha articles, head down into the description and you can sign up and get a 14 day free trial with the link in the description. If you don't get that 14 day free trial, you can head over to Seeking Alpha. Here, I'm on an incognito page. Head over to Seeking Alpha, log in with your profile, and you do get a limited supply of articles every 28 days they reset it. There's a few things I'd like to highlight on this article. So Fitch downgraded the US's government credit rating from AAA this week and the famed investor Bill Ackman placed a huge bet against the US Treasury bonds. He basically shorted them. That means he is expecting them to go down and he's going to receive a huge payback for that actually happening. Yields are threatening to take out their 2022 highs and Ackman believes the 30-year Treasury yields will hit five and a half percent and I believe he's expecting that to happen sometime around the beginning of 2024. Here's a historical look of the U.S. Treasury 30 of the 30 year U.S. Treasury yields back from all the way back to 1989. Here we're sitting about 4.3 and if you take a look at the one year it has not reached above these levels since October of 22. So why should we listen to Ackman? Well, back in 2020, Ackman made an estimated 2.6 billion betting on the credit default swaps during early COVID, declared on CNBC March 13th, 2020, and announced that hell is coming. This time, Ackman is highlighting structural changes in the economy and backing up his monster short bet. If you want to ride the coattails of Bill Ackman's trade here, you can do two things. You can buy Simplify's interest rate hedge ETF, PFIX, or you can buy puts on TLT, which is just the ticker symbol for an ETF that follows the 30-year Treasury bond yield. PFIX, however, is a simpler play, but buying at-the-money puts or options on TLT offers roughly a 5-to-1 payoff if Ackman is right about the 30-year hitting the 5.5% by January 2024. Now, I don't know if the 30-year Treasury yield hits 5.5%. I don't know if PFIX is going to give you a 5-to-1 uh, payoff, but they're expecting that buying at the money puts probably around a week ago. Now, the 5-to-1 might not be the same here uh, as it is setting today. It might be more a 4-to-1 or 4.5-to-1. But if you want to ride the coattails of Bill Ackman's bet, which he has actually made a ton of money in the past, betting on large catalyst plays like this, you might want to take a look at PFIX. So that's what we're going to do here today. Going over to Simplify ETFs, PFIX website. Now, we did review one of Simplify's ETFs, SVOL. I believe SVOL was very similar to QYLD, the high yielding income play. But PFIX is Simplify's interest rate hedge ETF. Current price is sitting around $82. And they do have a uh, explainer video here on the website. If you guys want to head over to simplify.us and check out PFIX over here. But just to highlight some of their fund uh, specifications, ticker symbol PFIX, expense ratio 0.5%. But that basically pales in comparison if you're expecting a five to one uh, uh, payoff if you uh, if the 30-year treasury yield does reach that five and a half percent by january 24 then they do have a monthly uh, dividend payout and right now the yield is sitting around 1.76 percent annually if they continue what they've done paying the same amount from april of 23 and the inception date was may 2021. Let's take a look at a back test here over on Portfolio Visualizer starting in January of 2022. In the blue is PFIX and in the red is the SPY. If you had a $10,000 initial balance 
in either or. Your final balance for PFIX would be 18308 with a 46% cumulative annual growth rate, and the SPY would be at a negative 0.82%. Coming over to Seeking Alpha, now if you type in a ticker symbol under their search uh, search bar here, PFIX comes up and what I like about Seeking Alpha is they have related uh, analysis and news and articles right under each ticker symbol that you take uh, you take a look at and uh, very applicable to, to the uh, security that you are looking to purchase or the security that you are taking a look at. So again, PFIX expense ratio of 0.5 dividend rate of 0.93 12 trailing months, the yield of 1.13 trailing 12 month yield, assets under management 227 million. The one year price return is about 57%, pairing that with the SPY with a one year price return of about 2%. This goes all the way back to August of 2022. Coming back to PFIX, taking a look at their dividend history from April of 2023, they paid out, uh, they've been paying out a 10 cent dividend. So that's where you come to on their website where they claim a 1.76% annual distribution yield at a monthly frequency. And they've been doing this since April 2023. They started paying a dividend here, but then pulled back a little uh, at the beginning or the spring time frame of 2023. So let's finish out this video with one of my uh, one of my spreadsheets that I offer over on Patreon. This is my investing workbook that I offer on Patreon. We have seven calculators, and on the overview tab, we have uh, each calculator, an explanation of each calculator, and video instructions on how to use each of the calculators. If you are interested in downloading a calculator to be able to help you with your investments. This is what I use. I enjoy building the calculators. I enjoy seeing what the results they spit out. If you're interested as well, head over to Patreon and you can download the calculator. Now how to use this calculator, this is my compound interest analysis calculator, basically taking into effect the compound interest formula, which takes into account monthly additions with initial deposits, reinvesting dividends and not reinvesting dividends, giving you a one to 10 year snapshot of your future portfolio, as well as the type of income you can receive. But we're not gonna pay too much attention here as we are just looking at the short term for PFIX versus the S&P 500. So what do we do with this calculator? We type in the ticker symbol that we want to analyze uh, and project the future values of our portfolio. So we're going to type in PFIX and SPY here. Go ahead and put in their dividend yields and their expense ratios, and that's calculated in the formula to be able to spit these values out. And then monthly additions, we're going to go ahead and keep it at zero for the time being. The annual growth rate. Now, this can be very tricky if you don't understand how the compound interest calculator works or the formula works. If you put a number in here and project this out over a long period of time, it's not going to be very accurate. What we're going to do is just take a look at a very short term outlook. So we're just going to take a look at the one year. If by August 2024, PFIX is a winner, if Bill Ackman's play was correct and the SPY continues to slide, we're going to go ahead and put a 0% annual growth rate. And again, we're just going to do the, take a look at one year. If we say 0% and 25% over here, what we're saying, if we take a look at the 10 year, we're saying that if we bought PFIX, PFIX is going to grow. The price appreciation is going to be 25% per year for 10 years, every year, 25%, which is probably not going to be the case as well as a zero percent for the SPY. So let's just take this and try to understand what this calculator is telling us. Now taking a look down here under the historical price performances, when you put these ticker symbols in here, this these formulas calculate the one year, two year, three, five, and ten price performance cumulative annual growth rates. Now we recall that from the Seeking Alpha data, we are around 50% for the one year for PFIX, and we were around a negative 2% for the one year for the SPY. So we're going to conservatively, conservatively say over the next year, we're going to see half of that same growth rate. 
around 25% for PFIX. And we're just going to say instead of losing money with SPY, we're going to say it breaks even. Now we can reinvest the dividends or not reinvest the dividends since they're so little. Let's go ahead and just reinvest them. Let's say you had an initial deposit either in your IRA account or whatever account you wanted to move some money or allocate some money to PFIX, $50,000, let's say, with a 25% annual growth rate. This is what you would be having over one year. If you were to continue just to hold the SPY, your SPY would increase around $706 because of the dividend yield, and PFIX would increase around $12,925. So there you have it. Let me know what you think about PFIX if you agree with Bill Ackman's call here. And if you would like to maybe allocate some of your funds into PFIX in your portfolios, head down into the comments and let me know. Don't forget about the Seeking Alpha subscription in the description and also my calculators over on Patreon. And with that, thanks for watching.